Hello everyone, this is COADB.com or the Coat of Arms database, and today we are going to discuss the Sutton Coat of Arms. But before we get started, we wanted to let you know that we offer genealogy and ancestral research services at our website. Please visit the link in our description. The first Sutton Coat of Arms to discuss is Argent, a Canton Sable. This was born by Roland E. Sutton in the 13th century. Next, we have a coat of arms worn by Sir John D. Sutton of Holderness at the Battle of Boroughbridge in 1322. Third, a coat of arms worn by John D. Sutton in the 13th century. Next, a coat of arms worn by Sir John D. Sutton at the First Dunstable Tournament in 1308. Next, we have Vert Cruzily, three covered cups argent. It was born by Sir Hammond D. Sutton of Essex at the first Dunstable Tournament in 1308. Argent, a cross batons azure, worn by Sir John D. Sutton at the Battle of Boroughbridge in 1322. Or three Chevronelles Sable, born by John D. Sutton at the second Dunstable Tournament in 1334. Also born by Sir John Sutton, knighted in Calais, France in 1348. And it was also born by Richard, Suffolk, Richard Sutton of Norfolk. Another born by a knight with the surname Sutton who lived in the 15th century. A coat of arms born by Sir Richard Sutton. Next, the coat of arms of John D. Sutton, born 1304, who was created the first Baron Dudley he was knighted in 1338 and fought in a war against Scotland and was summoned to Parliament in 1342. He was the son of John and the grandson of Richard. Here we see his effigy, as well as Dudley Castle. Next, similar coat of arms worn by Richard Sutton, Esquire, Auditor of London, the son of John of Henley upon Thames, grandson of William Sutton of Edial in County Staffordshire. This one is from Ireland, worn by Sutton of Ballykirogue in County Wexford, a family who descended from Roger de Sutton, who arrived in Ireland in 1169, and Anglo Norman. And of this line was Gilbert de Sutton, a seneschal of Wexford, who was murdered in the year 1306. Here we see some pictures of Ballycarogue Castle, its remains. Next to arms, born by Richard Sutton, born 1460, one of the founders of Bray's Nose College in Oxford a lawyer and possible member of Henry VII's council. Here we see his likeness, the likeness of Richard Sutton. Next, quarterly, first and fourth, Argent a Canton Sable for Sutton. Second and third, Argent a Cross Fleury Azure for Lexington. This was the arms of the Sutton Baronetcy of Norwood Park in County Nottinghamshire, England, created in 1772 for the politician Richard Sutton, born 1733. He was the second surviving son of the distinguished diplomat who we see here, Sir Robert Sutton. Another coat of arms, worn by Reverend Robert Sutton, born 1813 of Scaby Hall in County Lincolnshire, who was the son of Captain Robert Nassau Sutton, born 1776, the son of the aforementioned Sir Richard the First Baronet. It was also born by the Suttons of Scofton and West Retford in Nottingham, who descended from Lieutenant General Richard Sutton, born 1764, a British Army officer who fought in the War of Spanish Secession. Next, the arms of Baron Lexington, 
often referred to as Baron Lexington of Aram, Aversh, Averham in the county of Nottingham, a title in the Peerage of England created in 1645 for Robert Sutton, a royalist member of parliament who donated a large sum of money to the cause. And here we see the hall that the family lived in. The coat of arms of Oliver Sutton, the Bishop of Lincoln, who died in the year 1299 AD. Another granted to Daniel Sutton of London in 1767 of Sutton House, Westminster, and he was also associated with Framlingham Earl in County Norfolk. Now for a lightning round for some others that we don't have time to discuss. And if you enjoyed this video, please visit us at coadb.com where we offer affordable genealogy research. Learn who your ancestors were and whether or not they owned a coat of arms. Thank you very much.